everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel this is Mriti so in today's video I am going to take you guys on tour of my study desk many of you guys did actually request me for this video and I personally wanted to share it with you because I love my study desk my setup everything this is the favorite part of my room and I spend quite a lot of time in here and you know the formatting looks quite aesthetic I don't know but my study desk is a standard office desk it is in brown color so yeah this is the overview and let's get started right into the video so let's start with this corner so as you can see I have a three drawer organization that I got from Bhat Patini now they have different shapes and sizes but I think three drawers was the perfect one for me so I got that now moving on to the top I have a very cute Buddha statue right here which my sister got in China and I also have a little elephant here so it is the elephant with holes in its body and I use it to like burn incense if I ever want to so that just stays there and then I have this cute alarm clock that my sister got it in China. I normally don't use it for alarm but and one cool thing about this alarm clock is that you can actually light up like if and I also keep my glasses on top. Moving on to the drawers it is a very minimalistic pastel column and then I have a moon sticker and a YouTube logo sticker that I made myself in the first drawer. So I just keep all of my erasers and my sharpeners here as well. So, and then I keep all of my USBs in here, my pen drives, and then I have this watch from New York and Company. I used it a lot and now it's out of battery, but I just keep it there. And then I also have a measuring tape. I'm moving on to the second drawer. My clear tape, my nursing tape, and some paper clips, more paper clips, and a very tiny cute stapler as well as some staper pins and back here is the office pins now when you move to the third drawer you're gonna see a lot of permanent markers as well as some decorative pens so I have a Santa Claus pen a candy can pen I just got this randomly at a street shop during Christmas and I have a unicorn pen that I got from Masala Beads it actually lights up so pretty right I also have BTS pen now I got this at a shop in New Road and it actually is so expensive like this one pen cost me 150 rupees like I don't know why but I just got it and then I have some glitter pens and some souvenir from a temple which is also a pencil now moving on I have my laptop this is the HP Pavilion G6 laptop in black and I put my laptop on some copies so that the laptop does not get too hot here is a wire portal hole on my desk so this is where my charger for the laptop comes from and then moving on to this side are my pen holders so this has all of my sign pens acrylic brush pens that I got from Aniso and other sign pens as well so these are all for colored pens and in this one is where I keep all of my pencils and my pens so I use the normal 10 rupee pen it comes in a packet with five and for pencils I have Nataraj drawing pencils in B, 2B, 3B and 6B and I also have this black matte pencil that I got in Bhat Patini but now I don't have any access to this so and I also have a sensor pen I don't know what you call it but I use it for drawing in my iPhone sometimes so yeah, that is everything in this one. Then I have my water bottle that I got from Padbertini. Now it is a wheat colored bamboo something glass bottle. It is a glass bottle. So it might be a little brittle if you are careless with it. But it actually stores a good amount of water. And, and then here I have this lamp. Now many people have asked me about this lamp. It is a lamp that my sister got from China again. My sister started in China, so that is why everything is from China, if you're wondering. So this has a lid lamp and has two level, two level of function. So one is this white light. It is quite decent light, so I just use this, but level two is more brighter. But yeah, and you can actually get so many cute lamps with uh, 
with attached pen holders in Barbatini, Miniso, Yusupso, anywhere here. So like there are holes for charging and you can even use this for charging your other stuffs as well. So yeah, that was everything on the top desk. So this is the area where I study. So I want it really very clean and spacious because I use a lot of textbooks. Now moving on to the drawer. Hmm? Bunny says hi. <laughs> All right. So let's move on to the first stuff. So I'm going to start from here. So as you can see, I have a notebook, a blank notebook because we need a lot of notebooks in nursing, while in clinical. So yeah, that is why I have an extra spare of notebook here. And then I have the most exciting thing that is a BTS postcards. So I've got BTS posters, obviously. And I even have small cards, like small sticker cards also. Taeyong's photo card and J-Hope's photo card. I have bookmarks. This was actually handmade by my cousin sister. And then I've got some other bookmarks. And then I have this pocket article thing. Fits in your apron's pocket. So you just keep it there and then you keep all the pocket articles. And I just have my scissor and a pin torch. So just have a brown woven sort of notebook that I got from Ekta Bookstore. And I have my college ID card, my sister's photos, like the passport size photos. I have a box of a clock. I did have this crystal ball to bring out the rainbow effect, but it just got broken. Like, can you see that? It's broken now. So it just stays in this box. As well as I have a BTS army ring and a necklace thing. Is it in focus? I have some magnets. I've got two pins. Army, sugar, wizard in training, brahm masala beads. My piggy bank does not hold the two rupees coin. It only fits the one rupee coin for some reason. So I just have two rupee coins in here. My camera case. So I have the incense. This is the Mila incense, Kailash incense, Haljor healing incense, green Tara incense, and Kala Chakra incense. So these are all in different scents and very relaxing and healing the last thing in here is a box notebooks is my version of flashcards my very first iphone my mp6 player you know how cool these were back in days it's two stickers from girls generation i had more but i pasted it in my journal exams admit card my exams question papers more question papers like do you know how there the box of the medicine always has this paper where there is information about the drugs if you're a nursing student you will understand me all right so moving on i have this uh, sliding sort of thing that is actually for keyboard i guess but now i use it for my stationaries and this is my favorite part of the desk so the first thing that I'm going to show you is my pencil purse. Now this pencil purse is from Masala Beats. It is in a very transparent yet unicorn-ish sort of design. And inside I put all of the daily used stationeries that I use for note taking. So scale, blue pen, an almost out of black pen and a pencil for my everyday note taking. The calculators, now this is the Casio calculator in FX9 something whatever. And then it is another classic Casio that we used in our generation guys. But yeah, so these are the calculators that I use. We have biostatistics this year. So yeah, maths, right? So calculators, my punching machine, tape dispenser. Now next thing you're gonna see is this box and I got this storage box from Miniso. I've got the unicorn sticky notes that I got from Masala Beads again so it has got all sorts of unicorns in different colors. I've got some indicators. These are the neon transparent indicators. Pink sticky notes, a blue sticky note, my green sticky notes. And moving on to the next box, my markers, like the board markers. I've got blues, blacks and red. And I also have got the whiteboard eraser or dust. And I also have got a mirror from Miniso. Hi! Because I want to check myself out while studying. So in this box, I 
keep all of my colored pencils as well as some colored pens. Now moving on to the last box which is actually, it came in a biscuit packet and I really liked it because it's brown and very spacious. So this is my favorite box. I keep my scissor, black sticker, more common stickers in pink and blue, whiteout or tpix. Pass and my glue stick. And then this side is actually my favorite side. So free scented highlighters from Bhat Bhatini. So these are in blue, pink and purple. I actually had the orange one but my sister has it now so I'm just left with three. Three dry highlighters. These are the waxy highlighters from Amos Korea. I have these solo highlighters in neon yellow, coral pink, which is actually my new current obsession, pink, orange, and purple. Now moving on to the downside. So I'm gonna start from there. I have the two diaries and then in here I put all of my notebooks for my college. So these are all the notebooks that I'm using for this year of nursing. So two Spiral notebooks, Chia notebooks. Paper Korea notebooks yeah and this little notebook is a Christmas gift from my friend and it is from Miniso I have a 24 colored sign pen box and then I have another box so in this box the first thing that you are gonna see are a donut felt purse a pier purse battery charger some ribbons for journals and then I have a panda head which actually holds coins that I collect from different countries. Super Junior's purse. So I used to collect a lot of foreign currencies. Some random memory photographs that I wanted to look at. Panda postcard. A lot of health pamphlets because I'm a nurse and I do have pamphlets, you know. And then moving on, I have my stethoscope my big manometer to measure blood pressure and in this box i keep all of my drawing supplies like a lot of colors brushes some glitter colors and then in here i have my a4 oops my a4 paper bundle and some more colored a4s so now on the downside are all of my shoes and boxes because i got rid of my shoe rack last year so now moving on to the last part is where i keep all of my files and folders so these are all the important documents folders file bags and then two of my orange files where i keep all of the notes of my fourth year more folders for my research so in here i have my last year's curriculum or module and then i have notebooks from last year i get a lot of prescription notebooks like yeah this is the hospital's emergency card now moving on to the side of my desk is where i have a side table it is an old chair which has got paint stands the first thing you're gonna see is a flamingo painting that i got from pad Bertini. i have a mini so fruit candle scented candle as well as another candle out here because sometimes you know there is blackout and you do not want to live in dark right i have a seashell plate and a real seashell a matchstick i have my planner i got from miniso this is actually a weekly planner you plan your week and here are the days and it actually also has got the to-do list thing at the back a journal for my youtube and this is actually a diy journal this is actually my korean language copy and this is another language copy for my german now it is my japanese language copy as well <laughs> write more notebook from bha product i actually bullet journal i almost forgot to show you my wall you guys so this is my overview of the wall i'm gonna show you what is there so the first thing you're gonna see is a bts postcard a 2020 reading list that the books that i have actually read this this six months of 2020 and then here is me and my friends my little brother another bts postcard Young's photo card flower an abstract paint that i did another flower these are from the studio ghibli's that i bought and then here's a 
code here's another code this is a checklist of all the antibiotics schedule that i have my bias and bias record of bts jungkook and sugar and then here's me and my sister when we were little here's another jungkook here's another code here is me and my grandma can you guess what this is i'm gonna give you a shout out in my next video if you can guess that right that is everything that's on my desk i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give this video a like. Comment down below what is one necessary thing that you need while studying. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!